Burke's Peerage, London Genealogical Society, October 28, 1996, published an article that said that Bill Clinton is related to every Scottish monarch and to the current British royal family. He is related to every ancient aristocratic family in Britain today, so says Burke's Peerage. In a book entitled Ancestors of the American Presidents, Put out by Boston Genealogical Society, I have learned that Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford and Jimmy Carter and George Bush and Bill Clinton are all kin. Let me give you an example. Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford are kin back, Nixon 12 generations, Ford 14 generations, back to the same man and his wife, Stephen Batchelor. Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Batchelor. They're distant cousins. Isn't that amazing? That's Richard Nixon and now Jimmy Carter. What about Richard Nixon and Jimmy Carter? Well, eight generations take them back to Richard Morris and his wife. So they're cousins. And can you imagine who was it that uh, Richard Nixon picked to succeed him when he resigned the presidency? His cousin. And then when the term of office was up and Jimmy Carter ran for president against Gerald Ford, surprise, surprise, cousins. One a Democrat, the other Republican, and they're all cousins. Then here's Richard Nixon and George Bush. Did you know George Bush was kin to Richard Nixon? They both descended from Henry Travers and his wife Bridget. There's the list right there. Right out of the pages of that book put out by the Boston Genealogical Society. And then there's George Bush and Gerald Ford. Both are the ninth generation from Henry Vandenberg and his wife Magdalena Knight. Oh, I thought you thought that we, I, I mean, I bet you thought that our presidents were all elected, right? I got news for you folks. There's somebody in control. And for all the Republicans that are here today, I want you to know that George Bush Jr. is going to run for president, whether you like it or not. And then Gerald Ford and Benjamin Harrison, both descended from Barnabas Wines Jr. and his wife Mary. The interesting and I think the important thing about this is, so did Bill Clinton goes right back to Benjamin Harrison. So you see, they're all kith and kin. 